Before we get straight into those shelves that I've been procrastinating for super duper long, Magic Minds ended up reaching out and sending me some of their products. Y'all, you do get one of these. Shake it, shake it really good because <laughs> they be settling down at the bottom. I have mine in the fridge and they taste really, really good when they're cold. So let me go take my little shot. I've been taking one daily for a week already. <laughs> it tastes like guava and it smells like guava. It has like a carbonation kind of effect like when you drink a cold soda. <laughs> it smells like guava. I just, you just take it like... <laughs> my cousin tried one and he does it like in two gulps. I just like to go like... <laughs> because it's a little shot. It's honestly pretty good. I kind of like it. Excuse me. So remember how I had my little depression episode last month and I was literally not mentally able to produce plenty content or even do plenty chores. So I literally just ripped everything out. Well, along with during meditation, which I've been doing as well, a lot of self care, I've been taking these little bottles. It's only been a week and they build up benefits every single day when you take one. Before I move on forward, I do wanna say if you are taking supplements, pregnant or nursing, please reach out to your healthcare provider, y'all. And girl, the content speaks for itself, y'all. I've been doing so many plenty chores. This little bottle has 12 ingredients in it that has a a lot of benefit. Now I'm not gonna list all of them though. They'll be on the website in the link in the description box below. You can still take your coffee because y'all know me, I, I need my caffeine. I need my coffee, but this has a natural kind of caffeine in it. So I do take my cup of coffee and then in the middle of the day when I don't feel that good, I take one of these because it does help with clarity and it gives a little boost of energy. So yeah, I was able to get a lot of plenty chores done and you do feel more focused. It could just be a mind thing y'all, but it's doing something. It has Bacopa Moneri, I can't pronounce that correctly, which is a natural nootropic which helps with procrastination as well eotinine y'all i cannot pronounce these words correctly y'all which is found in matcha and that has some caffeine in it so taking a two ounce magic mind bottle daily you have more focus more energy and less stress which i need because i stress out a lot and i'm really really chaotic and i run on caffeine and like i said this has a lot of natural ingredients it actually has 12 natural ingredients which you can go ahead and check out on the website so let's say you buy a pack and for some reason you do not like it they will refund you a hundred percent no questions asked and like i said in the middle of the day i get a little bit drowsy and i take one of these and it really does give me a little pick me up taking one of these daily will build up the benefits so go ahead and check out the link in the description box below it'll be the first one and use my code david morales 20 to get 56 percent off your first subscription order for the next 10 days now i really hope they send me more bottles because i really need more girl i'll be stressing way too much <laughs> Alrighty, let's get straight to the plant chores and i'm telling you i've been pushing to clean those plant shelves for super duper long i don't know why it looks so daunting to me but we're gonna get it done today all right so we're gonna go one by one there is a not that many plants i think you guys remember like last year i had a lot more plants so basically what's gonna go ahead and help out is just cleaning off the surfaces it's just good to every now and then clean up the glass and i will be checking each and every single plant with y'all checking if any plants need to go ahead and be rinsed if not they just be placed to the side or if some plants should be shined so we are going to go ahead and clean the plenty shelves, but I also I want to clean some plants as well. Like, for example, this Hoya, I'm not sure you guys can see it on frame. I, well, I guess that can be the first one. <laughs> this one, I do want to go ahead and shine it. It did have some melly bug problems, but I ended up spraying it with some rubbing alcohol and that kind of dealt with the issue. You can see a lot, a lot of new leaves coming through. Like, look at that. Looks really, really, really good. Just stunning, beautiful. We got this one from Plant Co. or Planted. Then, oh no, it's Plant Co. It's a website. So that's gonna go ahead and get rents as well as shines. Here is the alocasia Jacqueline, which to no surprise, is going a little bit downhill. And for a moment, I thought I saw some metal bugs right there, which is damaged. I've been checking the back of the leaves. I don't really see no spider mites. I don't know, maybe this plant really wants a lot of humidity and I just cannot give it that. And it does not put out a new leaf. I thought it was going to put out a new leaf, but it's not. But I got a bromeliad as a backup, just in case if this plant goes downhill. And I would try again with the little bulbs and I'll place them outside in the balcony in the springtime and summertime in the shade, of course. And hopefully the warmth and the humidity from outside is going to make it thrive and be happier. But this one's just gonna be placed on the side nothing special about that one and then this little container has a lot of stuff in there 
but I don't know. I guess we can do this one. This is a beautiful mandula that we just recently got. I love the little mohawk, and it just put out a new leaf. No mohawk, sadly, but it's okay. Some people also call it a fan, but it's just a little random thing that it does every now and then. Well, honestly, not every now and then. It's pretty rare, but it's just good to look at, and this is how much I paid for it at Lowe's. So, just have it here in this de decor planter or cash pot to hold the water and to look pretty. This one's pretty good. Nothing much to do about that one. Next up, we have this succulent, which it might be time to water it. I just found it and I thought it was really, really cute. Senacio Huwarti. It's a really cute succulent. Like I said, I haven't like watered it for like, I think a month. So, because <laughs> when I got it, it was already watered and we know succulents just do not like to stay moist. And it wasn't a plastic container, so I knew it was gonna take a little bit longer than usual to go ahead and dry out. But this one's just gonna be placed on the side. I do wanna repot it in a terracotta instead of being this little plastic container. And I can actually use this container for the barrier to shop we're going to, which I will see later on. We're gonna go ahead and propagate the babies. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I do wanna go ahead and propagate the babies to have some backups as well to give some to my mom and my grandma because I know my mom has been wanting one. Is that a mini book? No. Ooh. It was a mini book. It was a very thick mini book. That is crazy. So mini books are like really, really white fuzzy pest and this entire plant is fuzzy. I would think it's new leaves, but it could be having some mini book issues. So what I'll go ahead and do is spray it with some rubbing alcohol that's diluted. Now we have this really, really fun strawberry, strawberry, oh my God. This baby bunny belly is variegated. Oh my God, that is not the best. All right, if you like the lighting spray over here, look at that, beautiful. Did it by propagations and I will chop it up again to let it get bushy and make another planter. I really, really love this plant a lot. Love the back of the leaves. It's like a beautiful purple. Sometimes I see it as maroon, but right now it looks purple. It's really, really beautiful and really, really gorgeous. And it's soft. It's fun to like, I was gonna say pet for a second, but it's a really fun plant to touch. Really, really nice. I got it from Lowe's. Uh, no, actually Home Depot. They were like everywhere. I don't see them anymore. So I hope you guys snatched one when y'all did when you saw one But if not, it's perfectly fine. I mean, these will be propagated like crazy on Facebook Like they're just so easy to propagate like there was this was literally done within like three weeks. So Really really fun plant. Next up. We have my boyfriend's strawberry variegated begonia, which we just ended up repotting and a upgraded, upgrader, upgrade planter. So as of right now, she's just chilling and I'm waiting for her to put out some babies like that one in the back. So it's a really, really pretty plant. Usually you see this one, is that a Millie? I've been so, no, it's just pretty light. I've been so focused on the living room that every now and then I come here and I check the, the shelves on how they're doing, but, and I just water them, I fertilize, I check the plants that are like, I propagate and like love like that one, which y'all will see in a bit. And whenever I see a pest, I just go ahead and spray, but I don't really have no one-on-one -on -one checking, but she's fine. Alrighty, next, next up we have this Jacena that we propagated in sphagnum moss or in water. Both those are really, really easy to propagate, but she ended up developing roots and we ended up placing her in a potty mix. She is nice and firm. Everything looks really, really good. Now we're just waiting for some new leaves to develop, which will take a hot minute because it's pretty cold in the plant room. It's like always like in the 70s and the nights because in the 60s. So yeah, it's a beautiful just sign up with those. We did find one, I believe. Yeah, I should have already posted the video. There was two massive hanky baskets at Lowe's. So that was a really, really fun find. But these are really easy to propagate that would grow faster if I had it like a heat mat or if I did it on spring and summer, like outside of the shade. But this shall do. And I'll show you guys some other plants. She looks a lot more bushier because that's what happens majority of the time whenever you propagate your plants. Okie dokie. So here's another plant that I am propagating. I'm reusing my <laughs> Bath & Body Works sugar scrub because it was a really, really good propagation container. So we have some Brazils and some lemon lime philodendrons. I don't really see that many crazy roots, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and already place, place them in soil. Obviously the Brazil would be in its own planter or 
yeah, plants her as the limelight philodendron, but yeah, not much to say about this one. I do love Brazils, and I do love me some limelight philodendron, so it's gonna be pretty exciting to have two new plants, and hopefully they establish a lot better in the soil because they've been taking forever in the water for some reason. I'm kind of surprised that they are. Kind of want to show you, but I don't want to spill the water. Oh, it's going to be kind of hard to do. But it does need a water. Like, it's already dried out, so. I kind of checked it. There's not much. Like, there's very little root development. You see the little white fuzzy roots. That's how, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There you go. So. That's gonna be a project we might do later on in the video. So the plants that I'm not talking about, like for example, the Brazils and the Lemon and Philodendrons, as well as the Hoya, I just told you what I was gonna go ahead and do. But the ones that I do not basically means they're perfectly fine and they're just being placed to the side. So over here we have, and it's kind of like really, really bad. I mean, it's working, but it'll be better if it was in a bigger saucer my tricolor syngonium the lighting is not giving it justice but she's just been chilling this plant actually <laughs> have killed multiple times and you can see some melly bugs right there do i have my little bottle let me get my bottle so you can just go ahead and get a little uh rubbing well a q-tip and dab it but what i do i just spray some con um I was gonna say concentrated, some diluted rubbing alcohol, and that just burns them away. You might need to be consistent with this, even then as well with the rubbing alcohol, but this one's a little bit easier to do, and it hits more spots. This is how I saved my Drancina that was infested with mellybugs, but yeah, you just gotta do that daily. You can kind of see them already. They look a little bit brown. That means they did. <laughs> that's basically it. But yeah, that's the single intro color. I don't really like the plants that it's in. Maybe down the line, I'll go ahead and repot it. I feel like Amaranth will look pretty on that. And that single will look cuter in it. More longer, smaller, but longer. Is that, what, is that what it is? Kind of planter, because that one's not really, really cute on it. But next up, we're gonna go ahead and get another plant. This one has multiple. So over here, we have some rocks. This brown one is the one my mom gave me because the fungus is not flying around. The one my boyfriend just got me for Valentine's. A little succulent and another succulent as well. Some donkey tail or burritos. Donkey tail that I'm propagating is a succulent. I'll show you the mother plants in a bit. But these are all fine. This one actually had really bad melee bugs, but ended up killing it with that little spray bottle that has diluted ripping alcohol. The one that I'm using, I used to use 50% rubbing alcohol, but now I use 70%. A little bit stronger, but I think it's fine. Here is my variegated green heart leaf philodendron. That leaf looks kind of pretty, but the entire plant is just not it. Like, it's just sitting in this massive ceramic, uh, has no drainage holes so I'm using as a cash pot. It's just sitting right there. But this is where it's actually at. And I believe I have, yeah, I do have some cuttings rooting right there, but I don't know. I just have it. I know some people have it as a wishless plant. So, I mean, the new leaves are getting kind of cute. You can see this one. Should be more variegated like that, but then they harden off. And it wasn't a low light spot, which is why you see a lot of green more than variegation, but even then, it would just turn to green over time, like that. But not much to say about this one. I would like to chop it up and let it get more bushy because when I got it, it was only one plant. I think it was only two plants, but after chopping it for like two years, it has become into like a massive plant. <laughs> so that's on that. So we're done with this. As you saw, we got one done and one, two, three, four, five to go. I'm not including the bottom ones because those are perfectly fine. But I'm gonna just do something differently. What I'm gonna do is empty it out, vacuum it, wipe it down, and then put the ones, the, the plants that are perfectly fine, put them back in here, um, and then move on to the next thing. So I don't have a lot of plants on the floor because it can get really, really overwhelming, and it just gets way too chaotic. So I'm just trying to prevent that from happening. But yeah, I'm just trying something new. I 
already y'all so i already finished a lot of well i don't know what happened to them to be honest i think some of them are already degraded i used to buy a lot of microfiber cloth back then from walmart and i think i bought a set from amazon like a long time ago and it degraded so recently like two months ago i ended up buying some microfiber cloths at walmart to clean your car but they're so good that i, I have so many of them it was a big pack and it was only for like ten dollars i wanted it. it looks like it's stained but it's like dry it's still dry right there i'm trying to like get it nice and moist everywhere but anyways i have a lot of these and these are really really good i use it to like clean everything and i just have so many of them and i'm not really in the mood to buy other rags <laughs> if they're just gonna be used for the same thing so i'm gonna just go ahead and use this it's kind of cringy but it gets the job done and then <laughs> i'm using this mayor's rose spray mixture it's the most like cleaner nothing fancy about it i mean it is pretty fancy i love the way it smells it smells really really good and yeah that's what i'm just using to wipe down these glass shelves because pretty soon i do want to film a houseplant tour and we gotta make everything look pretty y'all we gotta make everything look pretty so that one little wipe did a lot honestly like it looks so much better now cannot forget the bottom of the glass by the way I, I'm, i can't believe i haven't told y'all um but these shelves are from ikea i usually get asked especially back then a lot what are my shelves from where did i got them from they're from ikea not quite sure what they're called but just what i ended up switching up is um white metal glass ikea shelves and just finding the pictures like the two sets they have different kinds and honestly i would like the one that's like only one and they have another one that's like three so i see them like two cubicles right there's one that only has one and a stacked and there's another one that has like one two three really really nice stuff really really nice stuff i love these shelves a lot and i actually found them from uh harley's g's videos like years ago I used to like love them a lot and I didn't really know she wouldn't really say and nobody I don't know I couldn't find or found out where the shows are from so that's what I searched and I found them so a little like a little Google search helped me and oh but when I was ready to buy them girl they were always out of stock <laughs> always out of stock everybody kept buying them especially during COVID because everybody was getting into like plants and these are really really nice because it allows um light to travel through all the shelves so it's not like just like a white thing over here and it just reflects which is just not bad but it's also nice when it just like goes over to the other shelves so you get, it's more efficient but it looks so much better nice to clean the walls a little bit and that's it let me just go ahead and start placing some plants all right i'm trying to give you guys like different angles Making it look cute or oh, whatever. So, I'm actually gonna place this one right over here. I can see right, yeah. And I'm gonna let these vines trail down. Um, the lights, oh, these lights I got them from Amazon. It was a long time ago, but if I can find them, I will link them down again. And I'm gonna make it default because I've been getting questions again where I get my grill lights from. I have tried other grill lights. I mean, I've had companies send me like grill lights to try out, but these have just been super duper good. When I got them, they used to be a little bit cheaper, but they raised the price. These they used to be like I think I got them when I first got them it was like eighteen dollars. Now they're like almost doubled. They're like thirty eight, which is why sorry, which is why I ended up taking out taking oh my god wow taking it out out of my links because I was like when I hold up. That's a little expensive and it's the same thing. And I ended up finding out there's other different varieties out there. Now, usually I like to arrange my plants with like how they, they're light um, and also how it looks. I like to have a little bit of heights, move them around, make them look super duper cute. Like this one's gonna be right over here. The back looks kind of weird, but it's okay. I placed the baby bunny bellies on the back because it's a little bit tall. Place the mandula, you guys can barely see. And then I'm placing the mandula above the light because I want it to grow. Mandulas are pretty slow, but if you give it a lot of light and some fertilizer, they will grow pretty fast. But we're gonna raise it just a little bit more to give it on the baby bunny bellies variegated, as well as the green hardly philodendron. 
And then over here we have the Jacena Potos, which I want to grow faster. So I'm gonna give it some good light, like right below the grow lights. And this one is still getting enough light as well. And I have another, no, I'm not cleaning my saucers because we're not just gonna, we're not gonna do that today. It's fine, it's fine the way it is. I'm gonna place this little guy right there. And, oh yeah, that's the, cause there's another little planter and it's my Litox. I think I'll put this forward and place this in the back. I think that's a really good placement. Since we are clearing it out and making it like more, just reorganizing stuff, we will have more space. Now we did got rid of like two plants, I believe. Well, three, including the Jacqueline. This was like my second time having it. And I think it's gonna be the last time. I'm, I don't know. She's stressing me out. <laughs> I don't wanna put it to the back because I feel like I'm gonna forget. So we're just gonna place it right there. That's a pretty good spot. So that's good on that. This one will get treated for mealybugs as well. The Hoya will get treated once again. We're gonna go ahead and repot those cuttings. And this one, if I have any other planters, I'm gonna repot it, give it some fresh potty mix soil. Also give a final spray and check the plant and then rinse it off for mellies. And I might, yeah, like I said, like I might repot it and remove this potting soil. I keep slapping things around. <laughs> and give it some fresh potting soil because I feel like the millibus can also hide in the soil. I'm trying to get rid of them. Now, I did forgot. I do have an orchid and it was right there with the silver blue cuttings that we ended up doing in a different video. But this little girl is gonna go, and since it has like a big gap over here, can actually be like away from the light. But she's so wide and this is my old orchid. She's already putting out a new leaf, look at that. She did have many bugs, but I just did the spray bottle and it's a very lazy way. <laughs> it's very lazy, but it works. Ah. And I like making my life a little bit easier when I can. Oh, I'm gonna move things around. Go around the succulents. And then this can go over here. There is a little bit of sunlight that goes through the windows like that. So this allocation is not that far away from a good light source. I always try to give my plants a little light. I think light is like so important. People like wonder how to make it grow your plants super duper lush and make them grow beautifully. Light, 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 light. Like if you don't have good light, get some grow lights. I have good, I have south facing windows, but I have a lot of house plants and I want them to do really, really good. So I invest and have grow lights. I mean, these have lasted me forever. I also have Soltec grow lights and I have other ones that were sent to me from like, I think Spider Farm. Those have lasted me for a super duper long time and they're also really, really good. So yeah, just get some good quality grow lights. Here's the Mikeans. We will chop this one up in a different video. I think I, I should already have. I'm pre a lot of videos, you guys. So things might be like a little bit all over the place, but we're getting things done. So this is the Mikeans. She's perfectly fine. I literally just got her. I don't have a cash pot, but I, I mean, I do. I think I'm gonna place her in this. Thank you. I'm pretty sure it's a cash pot. We'll find out when I water it. Cause even then I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and give it some cuttings. Like I'm gonna go ahead and chop her up. It would also promote more growth. So that's not a problem. I'm kind of blocking out the plants in the back. I don't like that, but it's okay. It makes me wanna get in there. I don't be like that placement, but it's okay. It'll work out, it'll work out. Next up is this one. So let's get to it. So over here we have this one. This is a, a plant as well when I got my Hoya. This is a, here's the actual, oh, it's Canopy. Please focus. Canopy Plant Co. Epipariam Pinatum Neon. I paid $30 for it. It was really light, very luscious and nice a little bit. It was very leggy, honestly, and ended up chopping her up. Had a lot of cuttings, but I had my little phase and they were gone. So I chopped her up again and she's producing more shoots. I just don't like how this is so out. It's very bald. Bald and I don't, over time I'll fix it. The way I'll fix it is I'll let these grow, you know, develop their shoots, some vines, chop them up again and place the cuttings inside. Cause I keep chopping her up and I'm not seeing a lot of growth coming in the middle. Other than this little leaf, but we can see more. Well, would be nice to see more. So we're just gonna chop her up. 
I do have some, it's over here, I think so. Some cuttings rooting to make a whole new plant because I do need to make some plant insurance. It looks like a Siva Blue and a Golden Potos made it together. And this is what they did. It's such a beautiful plant. I really want it to get nice and luscious and viney. It's gonna take some while, 1000%. But I'll show you the other one that I have rooting and cuttings and that one's gonna go outside. This will stay inside the mother plant because I don't wanna have a lot of plants outside. And it's always good just to have some backups. But this one's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna place it at the bottom. And then we just did these. These are the steel blue cuttings, so there's not much of an update because I'm literally posting the video right now. So not much to see on that. Over here we have some global green cutting cuttings. And silly me, I was really, really dumb. I did this on live and I was not thinking. I forgot to do the holes, so I ended up soaking it with water, not drowning it, but making sure there's enough water in there. And just to like let the roots like do their thing. And it's now dry. You can kind of see how dry it is a little bit. So I think I'm okay now. Get a screwdriver, heat it up, and just, well, right there, and then over here. And now it's good. Um, so it'll be fine. I'm not, that, I'm not stressing out too much. I don't gotta take everything out and restart. But yeah, these are just some global green cuttings that I want a nice vining plant and this will go outside when she is fully established. So that's perfectly fine. It's gonna be placed on the side. Here are some more cuttings that I have. I just had too many global green cuttings. And the mother plant is doing amazing. She's getting more bushy. What the neon pinatum couldn't do. <laughs> but yeah, here are some more cuttings sitting in water. Because whenever I do cuttings, I have too much. Well, I say cuttings, but they're they're rooted. They were rooting in sphagnum moss or in water. And then once I see enough roots, this is so pretty, this mic ends. Once I see enough roots, I transfer it to soil, but I still make sure that the soil is nice and moist to let those roots do their thing. And then over time, we're getting a little bit ahead, but I want to show you, I did it by cuttings and it was even in terracotta. It's just a single item tricolor. And now I can slow down on the watering I am really, really hoping the lighting is not bad. If not, I might just set up my studio lights and I think I might, cause I'm losing daylight. But yeah, and then I slow down on the watering. If it's a syngonium, I don't want to stay moist for too long. They actually do, but not consistently cause it would get root rot. So I can kind of like slow down since I'm pretty sure she already has some well rooted roots. Here is my spiral ginger. There is any shoots. I don't know if you guys remember, we ended up chopping her up. But there is a shoot right there. I'm waiting for the main sticks. Actually, look. <gasps> Yay! Y'all see, it's like on top of my dirty nails. There is any shoot. How? Okay, I thought somewhere inside, but it's doing something. So that's really, really good. This is fine. To the bottom. This is a. I finally got one a while back. Look at that. My variegated pepperonia, she is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love these in terracotta, so. Okay, that color is loud, hello. But yeah, beautiful pepperonia. She's perfectly fine. Next place we're down. And then, this is my welcome to the room. She did have, I always do this and I feel like it's a melee, but it's just damage. That little white thing, but it's not. But she did have melee bugs. And it was getting really, really bad. But she has recovered. What is that? But it does not hurt to spray. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Now yeah, I'm, posing, I'm possibly going to go ahead and put up my studio lights because I think it's not pulling through with the lighting. The reason why I spread it on top of the soil is because sometimes the pests are sitting on top of that. You want them dead. This only works on aphids, mellibugs, spider mites, things that are soft bodies. Scale as well, but you need to actually put pressure because scale has like a little shield and it protects them. So that's why they're so annoying, but we're done. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum. My hands smell like, oh, it smells like hand sanitizer. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum, wipe it down, place the goodies back in here, and then move on to the next. This is so easy, y'all, we're doing so. I made a mask. I'm so ready to move out. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum. Can y'all see that? The little mess? Yeah. So. Voila. 
I used to back then use a rag and try to go like that and then go to the sink or in the tub and like do that like rinse it every time and then I realized I can just vacuum it makes less mud cleans up the mess and then I guess wipe it down and it's just so much easier Also, since we're cleaning the glass, we're allowing more light to go through. I've been getting better at cleaning my windows because that is true as well. It doesn't really make that much of a big difference, but if you want to take advantage of every single light, like all of it, wiping it down does help out. They always say like, it's like dirty solar panels. When you clean them, they're 100% more efficient on like light passing through compared to dirty solar panels. Same thing with glass and windows. I say glass, like this. And the windows, as well as your plants. It's always really, really good to rinse them. I'm pretty bad at it, um, but I've been getting good at it recently. I just put some jazz music and it helps me a lot. <laughs> it makes it a lot more relaxing to do plant choice. But yeah. Pretty good with this. It's time to go ahead and rinse this rig and then do it one more spray. Cause I see some stains. And I'll see y'all in a bit. Alrighty y'all, so I ended up placing the studio lights and I think it's a little bit better. <laughs> really, really good investment because I've been using a lot of daylight to film my videos, but doing this kind of allows me to film at night as well that's literally when i get like the urge to do plant choice it's always at night majority of the time it's more like a little vibe i don't know why but i love to do plant choice at night voila oh my goodness it looks so clear like it doesn't even look like it's there okay i'm gonna start putting some plants in there <laughs> put this one this one's a good of light well, that's a lie. Because I know they can handle low light conditions. This, ooh, I just spilled water on my carpet. That's a good place right there. Well, I guess on a different video, we're gonna go ahead and carpet clean, wash the, the carpet in the plant room. Because I just made a mess. By the way, I do usually have my fan going on high every single day, 24 seven, but I have it off because I'm filming. And if it's on, you guys are gonna have like some audio problems. It's gonna be kind of like that, so. That's why it's not on. It doesn't look that cute in that angle, but it's efficient. <laughs> I don't let this light bounce out through everything. That's good. And then we have this one, which we're gonna draw some holes later on. Voila. Oh, look, we have more space. That came out so clean. I'm actually really proud of myself. That's a lie, we have this. Well, I can go right there. This can go in there. I'm sure it'll be there. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, let's go more down. Okie dokie. So. It gets more nastier the lower we go but we have this which is my elephant bowl it does have a saucer but i just cannot find it i need to find it in the closet so oh i'm gonna place it in this that's good and then this is the ginger that we got for clearance and does not look good at all so i don't know i might give it some more time because i do see it green do y'all see that but after a month i'm gonna just go ahead and dump it out i give it to my mom in case she wants to put put it outside on, on the bottom of a tree in the springtime it might sprout but i'm seeing more i'm seeing that more than anything but it's okay because this is a cash pot and I love cash pots. I can go ahead and reuse it. Make sure to. It's an actual cash pot. It's not one of those that I hate. It has a hole and it has like the plate glued on. I just don't like that. <laughs> Let me move the plate. 
Here's another same thing and same story. Forgot to do the holes. You can kind of see a sprout. Okay, the lighting is so much better. You guys can see my nasty arms or hands. Look at that. Look at that. A little baby leaf. These are really full. That's a new sheet right there. What else in here? This one looks so much better than the other one. Look at that, the little green shoot. How exciting! And it's dry, so I can do the whole thing. I might do it tonight off camera, but um, we have two feature hanging baskets for the springtime in the balcony. That's really, really fun. Okay, this is really some, kind of something exciting. This is the cuttings that I try to develop of the red syngonium i do have some established on the bottom these have not given me roots and i see a medley bug i heard a high pitch sound it kind of freaked me out do you guys see the medley bug disgusting and it's only on that leaf so so i can do it right now i'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> it's like acid love if nothing happens, oh, look at that. That looks like a like a nest. I think, oh, wrong bottle. Okay. If nothing happens, I might actually just dump this entire thing out, wash the container, add some fresh sphagnumos, and propagate something else. Because these are the cuttings. One of the girls told me that propagating the red syngonium is pretty difficult. And I only had like a 25% success rate, like 25% success rate. All the other cuttings are just like. Okay, this one's pretty full, but this is, I'm just dumping water everywhere. Some lemon meringue cuttings that are really variegated. And I just decided to put it in its own planter. It has one just under cutting. I just saw that right now. This is, this is a just saying I can tell. It's okay. It doesn't hurt to have one fine. The white parts. Oh, look at that. Wow. How fun. That one. There just went dead. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl. I like hello. I've been so focused on a lot of other cuttings. The thing is, when I was prop, when I was, look at that. Propagating this one, I forgot to um, keep it moist. And it was dry for like four or five days. Ah, I think. So after that, I just ended up placing it. I gave it, I gave it what it need, but I think it was a little bit too late. See, this is the actual stuff it's supposed to be in. This is from um, Amazon. Over here, we have some really, really good rooted establishing cuttings of some other quinpotos. Very beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful planter vining so i'm really really excited oh my goodness did they just eat up i'm gonna start putting my attention in the plant room instead of the living room well both but i'll see how it's dead already gotta check the entire plant now because it's not gonna mess up this beautiful plant or planter since it has so many plants inside that are starting to develop. Okay. That was a quick little search, but I'll deep dive later on. And that is it. That is it, y'all. Time to vacuum. I didn't vacuum that much in the middle. Good thing there's not a lot of dirt, but there was like a little pool of water and that would have break my vacuum, which we don't want that to happen. Well, I don't. <laughs> now let's go ahead and wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down.
forgot to wipe the, the metal part. There we go. Oof, it's just so satisfying seeing it super duper clean. Let me get the correct saucer. Place it with the elephant ear bulb. And this one's gonna get special treatment because I really want that to sprout. And then I can use this like, six inch saucer. And then we're gonna put those. Place this one in the middle. Since it's already established, it just needs a little bit of light. I honestly feel like I'm gonna just dump, I'm probably gonna dump it, you guys. This. I already have what I wanted, which y'all see the other cuttings or established cuttings. Hopefully, they have roots, but I'm just gonna let them establish and grow as a as, as a plant. But I'm gonna just dump those that entire thing out because I, I need another tray to propagate more plants. This one's just gonna be placed. What can we place it? Well, was doing really good right there, so I guess we can share. This one could be in the front. Since I'm still being a little bit hopeful that I'll be okay. And then get these. Well, they're lemon meringue cuttings, but right there. Mm. Right, put this right there. Good. Good, 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 good. And that's it on that one. We're gonna go down. I kind of don't want to, but. Might as well. So up on the bottom, usually I just like to have my planters, extra stuff. I like, I, I like to have boxes too. <laughs> Let's go into the trash. And I just placed these yesterday. These are my mandula cuttings, which I'll give you guys some close-up shots because I have not checked them, but it's time to check. So what's been happening? The mother plant did have mellies. I tried and I did my best to wipe the mini bugs away in the tub with the shower hose. But it just takes one mini bug. Oh my goodness. I mean, it has, look at that. It has white fuzzy roots, but it also has mini bugs. Uh, we have some good and some bads. Damn it. Well, I can't just sit here and let that happen. I'm gonna spray on the roots, but I'm hoping they can be a little bit tough. Spray the entire foliage. I think I might meet up. Oh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Let's see if we can just do it like that. Mm -mm. Gotta tap it. There you go. Now it's dead. So, the good part is. There are some white fuzzy roots, and I'm pretty sure I can pick one up. And we're gonna see more. What well, this one doesn't have no white roots. It has a metal but I thought there's some in the corner of my hand. Let me just squish it. I'm gonna place it really good in there. Cover it up. I've been that close to pick them up, but I'm gonna go through. God, I really hate this camera. <laughs> okay, so that right there, it's a melee bug. That is just a regular white fuzzy roots, but that's a melee. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you know what? I think, I think it should be fine. So what am I, I think what I wanna do, it's take all of these out, rinse some of the tub as good as I can, and then place the cuttings in water. I know those my bugs, I'm not gonna have those crevices when they're sitting in water. And just chuck the leaves every single day and spray whatever I can. We have roots. And I think I did these uh, like last, last week. <sighs> but we also have muddy bugs. That's the biggest pest that I deal with. I mean, it was really bad at the beginning. When I came back to YouTube and doing plant stuff. Um, so now it's a little bit better, but they're still there.
Oof, that looks very, very good. Almost makes me not want to <laughs> place nothing in there, but let's see what's in here. Because it, it gets a little bit of light, and I do gotta go ahead and check them by myself later on. Place this back in here. I guess I have a bunch of like extras planters. I can just place it back. stack it up. What else do I have? Was that it? Well, damn. Let's just do it like that. Yay, we finished one shelf. We have one shelf done. Next up is this one. So over here we have the Silver Hero Skindapsis, which I ended up botching, but I believe there's a new leaf coming in. My hands look so dry. <laughs> that rubbing alcohol was a little something. And then we, over here we have some Vermilia babies that I'm trying to propagate. So, kind of cute. Those are fine. Over here we have some spiral ginger cuttings that I'm trying to root. And for so long I wasn't seeing nothing as well. I do have a ZZ cutting and a different kind of cutting in there, but the spiral gingers are putting out roots. Do you see that thick, long root right there on the side? Exciting. Doesn't look the best, but later on, I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up, pot them up and place them in the balcony when the spring comes in, because every time I put plants outside, they just do super duper good. Over here we have a begonia. This is my boyfriend says, but I'm taking care of it and I think she likes me. It's really, really beautiful. I have it sitting on this Costa Farm cash pot because I think it looks really, really cute. And this, oh, well, that's nothing. Oh, pfft. It was basically, I was trying to like, I was making something and I had a little carrot thing that I was trying to like do for like aesthetics, but I forgot to water it and it dried up and it's dead. <laughs> Over here is this beautiful Lime Light Drancina. Oh my God, wow. Lemon Lime Philodendron, right? Or Lime Light Philodendron? It's a Philodendron and it has a bromeliad on top because I just it gave me so many babies. And I just have it over here. It has started to fix itself. It had a lot of mellies, but I think she's bouncing back and she's ready to give us a lot of stuff. A lot of growth for the springtime. And then we have this one. This one's beautiful. I got it in the flea market a while back. And I think it's a sedum or something, but it's beautiful. I was sitting on this Maximiles cash pot because they just have like such pretty cash pots, but beautiful plant. I just love the foliage. It's really, really pretty, nice and firm. Stunning. And then we have this pepperonia that I got in Corpus. And she's been getting pretty long. Love. Love, love, love. And then we have the Barragata String of Hearts. But let me go ahead and move the camera because I don't know, I feel like the light is kind of weird. Again, already I think I fixed it. Here's the Barragata String of Hearts. Super stunning. So this is a new mother of Justina Potos. The mother plant got tossed away because it was reverting. She was just not doing so good and it was just giving out more green than anything. So I got the best cuttings, the best foliage that I could find on the mother plant, chop it up, and I made this one. And then after this one, I made that new Jacena Potos cuttings in here, which will pretty soon be just like this one. And yeah, it's a beautiful plant. 
That looks like Melibox, but it's like holes. That one's Melibox. That is just a hole. But it's beautiful. Look at that. Stunning! Last but not least is this beautiful skin dapsis that I did by cuttings and she's putting out this new leaf. Such a cute little planter. Another new leaf right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let me go ahead and like vacuum this. This is the what I use is um leaf shiner from Planted CCTX. It's in Corpus. A nice cute plant shop and she sells these, so I love this a lot. I'm gonna go to Corpus pretty soon. We're planning next month to go, and I wanna buy more of that because it was just really satisfying to shine my plants and, you know, do that fun jazzy stuff. Also, I've been asked if she sells online. As of right now, from last time I checked, she does not, but she is working to sell online and ship online. So, when I see her next month, hopefully we can go to Corpus. I'll definitely ask her like where she's at, because I know that a lot of you want to go ahead and try. I know Lip Shining has like a little controversy, especially the one from Mika Grill, that I actually have used, and yes, it has cut my plants, it clogs the pores. But this one, it doesn't really say what's in it. She is like a little secret, she doesn't tell me either. But my plants do not do what the Mercury Grow Leaf Shiner does and supposedly it even states that it fertilizes the foliage so I honestly do not question what it is it could be like um, cow piss, I don't really know it doesn't smell like nothing it shines the plants beautifully and it does make my plants look and actually be healthy so I love that product a lot and I really really do hope she sells it online pretty soon because I need you guys to try it out, I love it a lot. Not paid or sponsored or whatsoever but I, I really really do like that a lot and I feel like it will make doing plant chores a lot more fun. And I think that deserves to be pushed because it's always more fun to like... There's a quote, I forgot, I forgot what, it's, what it is but basically saying like there's already something really, really fun to do, but then there's other little things that you can add to it to make it even more fun. I'm pretty sure there's a quote about that, but I forgot about it. Look at that. There is a little ring, I guys can see, but it's okay. It looks a lot better than it did before. Place these babies back. Do y'all see that? When I was showing it to you, it wasn't really like showing, but it gives off like a lava rock kind of aesthetic. It's beautiful and I love it a lot. I'm gonna fix this one a little bit. I wanna switch things up a little bit because I just think it's, you know, fun to do every now and then. So it don't look boring in the same. That scared me. I don't know, something like the neighbors do stuff and I always feel, because I'm usually always alone. So I get scared like if it's paranormal activity but I forget that I live in an apartment. And you know, there's neighbors so things happen. I can't like, well not can't wait, but when I do live alone and I start hearing sounds, I hopefully I, I get used to that because <laughs> I was like to panic and want to move out. I used to watch a lot of scary movies when I was little to the point that I can't watch them anymore. <laughs> I just can't sleep. I just cannot. And my boyfriend loves watching horror movies, but I just can't. I just can't, it's, it's too much. Yo, this looks really, really good. I kinda like the way it's looking. I don't mind if there's like empty gaps, it's gonna go down to the next plants. But we have three more shelves and we're good. Y'all, I've been pushing this to the side for so long, super duper long, and I'm really, really happy that, I think it'll be kinda smart to do, oh, to do that. Because I do have this girly right there and I don't even want to move it. The Barrigata Shari Bubonia right there. I might put it back where it's at because it's really, really happy. And I was saying that I didn't want to move it because I was debating to, because the string of hearts was starting to tangle up with these little vines. And it's basically the babies. Like, look at that. Can y'all see the little baby? It's just so cute. 
already y'all uh, it is the next day also yes it's a mess the very top we're doing baby steps <laughs> we're only doing this girl it's because i don't know what to put this stuff at so i use this i mean i can fix and organize it but the priority is to shove <laughs> the, the reason why i wanted to clean so bad Ooh, my stomach y'all again it's the morning i want eat in the mornings i just have my cup of coffee and a magic mind shot we just have three more little shelves and that's basically it <laughs> i was literally editing this video last night because i ran out of time my boyfriend came over from work and my cousin came from work as well when they come home we eat we chat and we chat for like hours it's really really we, we have a lot of fun bonding time but obviously that passes time really really fast while we were chatting i was also going ahead i was like multitasking girl i was literally putting sticker traps everywhere. I use all of my butterfly sticker traps. I have these left, the little suns, I believe, but it's gonna be later on. So the reason why is because my boyfriend plays here with his PC, right? And he tells me that he sees fungus gnats and it's going to his face, like it's getting to that point. And my cousin told me like, why? And I said, it's because I'm being more consistent with my watering, which is crazy. I'm telling y'all, y'all, like, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, <laughs> these are doing something to me, but in the best way possible. Oh. And yeah, I mean, I already see one got trapped in the, in the little sticky trap. There's a lot of different things. I know that Harley G used to always promote these um mosquito bits, I believe. It's like a little, you make it like into a tea or you sprinkle it in your potting mix or you sprinkle it on top and it gets rid of fungus gnats as well mosquitoes, which is what it's usually for, but it works pretty good for fungus gnats. But I'm not really there, y'all. I don't want to go too crazy. Like I said, I'm really ready to move out, y'all. But uh, I am just, I, I was multitasking. I was putting a lot of uh, sticky traps everywhere, not just the plant room. You can kind of see like the yellow tags everywhere. <laughs> and they do something. I also ended up placing a bunch of them in the living room away from my cat because I know my cat sometimes likes to rub himself on things. And he like, he, he doesn't bite the plants, y'all, but he does like to rub. And there was a time when he got stuck in one, so it was a really, really traumatic experience for him. And for some, still, for some reason, he still wants to go ahead and smell it. I don't know why, but let's take a little shot. I also ended up shining a lot of my plants. I'm not sure if I shined any. I just shined and cleaned the Hoya. And as I, as I was doing it, you guys, I accidentally... <laughs> Broke a baby Lee. It's okay though. Um, now she's a lot more better. She's not that shiny. I'm kind of surprised that she doesn't look that shiny, but she is nicely rubbed down and cleaned. I removed all the melly bugs as much as I could as well. And every time I clean my plants, see, there's a there's a fungus. Now. I need to put a sticker drop in this thing. I think I only put it on plants that are always moist or like if it was a big space like on my on my wall and stuff area. It's a dry plant. But there's just so much like space in there, so I don't really mind just put one right there. But I, I always try to make sure I place it like in the plants that usually I, I can I maintain moist because that's where they're gonna put their babies or that's where they're gonna be at mostly, which is the best way to put the trap. So I'm gonna stop procrastinating. That shot's gonna help me. And we're gonna go ahead and get these other three shelf stuff. We're almost literally done. I'm just I, I don't know why this is so daunting to me. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna get like really, really fast, y'all. So I'm trying to get this done. <laughs> and this is going to be the tricolor single name that we ended up propagating. I think the lighting's not that bad. It's pretty good. Really, really good. That one's already successfully rooted. Became a whole plant. Over here, we have a variegated green hardly philodendron that I have. Well, it, it already developed good roots in sphagnum moss. Now we're just waiting for it to put out some new shoots. And then over here we have the variegated bear paw. I did end up rinsing it. Sorry. I did end up rinsing it to remove um, the soil and the foliage. I'm just letting it dry out because these plants don't like to stay moist for too long. I think it'll be fine to be honest. And then over here we have the burritos donkey tail. It's still in its nursery planter and the potting mix. So I would like to update, update, <laughs> upgrade it to some actual cactus potting soil and on a terracotta pot, but I'll be down the line. Beautiful, beautiful plant. I got this from Lowe's, it's stunning. I feel that would be extremely painful if it gets money both, so I gotta make sure nothing gets on that. Here are some of the mothers 
that of my bromeliad that my mom gave me. I think it's a bromeliad. I ended up repotting them and placed them in here. They, I don't know if they went out, but they ended up giving me babies, which is what I showed you yesterday. And here are the little babies. They gave me a lot more. They are like all over the place. And then over here we have the cuttings that I have been propagating slash, well, they have already rooted. And I'm just waiting for the new growth. You can see a new leaf right there. You can see one right there. You guys can see right there. And then, look, the is not <laughs> right there. And then right there. So it's doing pretty good. I'm, I'm really excited. And then see, that's a fungus gnat. They're trapped. <laughs> I'm actually like down the line really get into those mosquito bits because these fungus gnats get annoying. Here's our burger that Mustard Epidu. Just put, can you hear Valentin on the cut letter? <laughs> I said he's never got a quiet. But here's a Mustard Epidu putting out a new leaf. Really, really proud of that plant. And then here's a Godzilla Zingonium. It was literally so dead. What I might do, I might scrape this off. That's kind of nasty and give it some fresh potting soil because it's just a top. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I don't know what the hell this is. It's kind of gross. It, it's not eggs. It looks like, I don't know. I, I, it's been moist for like a while because this Zingonium, this Godzilla Zingonium likes to stay, stay moist. She gets pretty mad if I don't, if I let her dry out. But that's on that one. A lot of these are just really, really good. This one are some pearls and jade cuttings that I have rooting. And I believe they're ready. So, I mean, I don't really got a choice to be in for a hot minute. And I don't like how compact. It looks really, really cute. But we're going to go ahead and place that in soil down the line. Because that's already past due. It's going to be pretty gentle because my sugar begonia is putting out hairs everywhere. She is stunning. We have this girl over here, my variegated scandopsis, doing super duper good. Look at those massive leaves. Beautiful. And it's putting out that too. So excited. So excited. Ooh, I almost spilled water. I watered some plants last night. But I think I see some Nellies. Do y'all see that? The very long. And why am I talking British? No, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's fine. I'll, I'll spray just in case, but. Oh my goodness, it has the most prettiest foliage ever. I love it, love, 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 love. And then it's a really easy conductor to look up to too. They just want a lot of light. So here is the icon. <laughs> my variegated strawberry begonium. You can see all these little hairs coming out. And what's gonna happen, you can kind of see a very little the little micro babies. <laughs> but I already have a big one over here. And I'm already called shotgun on this one. This is gonna be hers. Gonna let it grow as much as I can let it grow. And then I'm gonna place it in, I don't know about spack them off. I think it will rot. I'll place it in soil and keep a really, really close eye. I'm hoping it would root, but if not, this mother has been really, really busy. Just putting out lots of these babies. Really, really exciting. And it's on a beautiful face planter, so it just makes sense. She looks stunning. She has to go somewhere special. Because we don't want that, you know, to go down here. Over here is the variegated green heart of philodendron. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Not the best, but just give it some time. Give it some time. And then lastly, we have this beautiful gym that we got on clearance. It's removing the dead foliage. Cleaning the leaves. She looks amazing. She looks beautiful. And it's sitting on a Max and Miles. No. It's sitting on a live, live Urban Jungle cash pot because I just love Urban Jungle so much. Like, it was just awesome. I don't really see it. Nah. Well, this is a piece of soil. But I don't really see it that dirty. So I'm just going to wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. But yeah, yesterday I was watering, fertilizing, cleaning leaves, placing sticky traps while talking to my cousin and my boyfriend. <laughs> and it's kind of funny because like whenever I redo that or whenever I do that, they just watch me. It's like, wait, I'll do. And I'm like, I feel weird because I'm like, why got staring at me? But then I remember like, it's really, really satisfying because I do it too. Like when my mom used to do it, my grandma used to do it. I mean, I do it on YouTube too. Like I'll be watching people clean their plants and do plant chores. It's very therapeutic and really, really satisfying. Not just 
lectures but cleaning as well like it's just it's weird but <laughs> it's satisfying to see somebody clean or do french works so i'm really really happy that y'all are enjoying my content and it's always fun having you here again i'm, I'm really really grateful to have such an amazing family on youtube y'all are awesome and we really do get personal in here girl i used to get really personal back then but i'm trying not to try to find the balance um you know just there's always room for improvement and to grow not that sharing so much is a problem but there's a lot more stuff on plants that i can share than my mental health because <laughs> i've done with way too much already but <laughs> and i'm just trying to get better because mental health is, is important it is important to like speak up and like you know get help and stuff like that very important but in my channel i was doing too much of that and not enough being proactive at it and again it's just so funny how this is working amazing with with magic uh, magic minds that helps with stress and clarity and like to not procrastinate too much they have 12 organic natural ingredients and they saw listed on the website y'all saw me struggling to really really bougie stuff okay i don't know how to pronounce that kind of stuff <laughs> but they're really really good and it helps to do all that alongside doing self-care like when i just feel i'm already getting a little bit too much then i'm gonna place the plants back it's already clean then i just go ahead and take a bath like i took a hot bath but i took a really really hot one because it felt really good and i was like oh this is working i'm gonna probably move it around because i like to have like a little bit of a different aesthetic here and there like when plants around i feel like it gets boring when it be looking the same too much but oh yeah so very very happy right now and obviously i think the biggest help is having good people around you my boyfriend's amazing my mom it's amazing i'm very very blessed and grateful to have amazing people in my life and it's really really important as well here on youtube like y'all are also really really fun and y'all gave me so much advice like really really good advice and i'm very lucky i'm very very lucky and anything that i learned that's really relevant or it's worth to share i want thousand percent share with everybody else so that's the beauty about sharing here on youtube and doing plant chores and doing stuff together and you know chatting and like you know talking to each other stuff like that i can share that with other people as well so like i said i'm really really grateful when y'all give me really really good information or good tips and advice because i'm always here to learn and to grow this is the only plant I'll place over here because it really, really liked this spot. I don't want to change that. <laughs> I I remember I used to have plants that were doing super duper good. Also, as you see, I'm like organizing. I'm trying to like talk and have a fun conversation. But also, I like to, for example, there's a big gap on the uh, Monstera Peru and I paste it on the back and I let this big leaf cover it and it's not going to block nothing because there's nothing in the back of the most that i could do on the, on the planter i always try to be considerate on like how much light the plant needs plants that need more of a t um tlc time love and care plants that need more of a boost i place them right below the grow light not too close that's gonna burn it and plants that are doing a-ok -okay or just too big they get in the middle y'all the scandapsis is insane how oh beautiful but yes i i try to consider this stuff like that and that's how I organize my plants. I also like to make it look pretty and aesthetically pleasing. So I like having heights. I like having back tall plants on the back and um, medium and small plants on the front. Like how they used to do in school. I used to hate that because I'm a really, really tall boy. And they would put me in the back. <laughs> now I'm doing this thing to my plants. Oh my goodness. But not yet. So I kind of forgot what I was talking about already. But I'm really, really grateful to have you here. I'm very, very blessed. And y'all are awesome. Like, y'all gave me some really good advice. Some really, really good advice. Like, I think yesterday, last night I posted about the orchid. Well, it was a busy day. It was a busy. I think that the title says busy day. It was a lot of stuff. But we ended up, see, I have this burrito tail. I want to put it in the back because it's too short. So what I might do, but I like this here. It's like, it's tall. It's not two of the same, it gives it like that. And it's so thin that you can like see through. And I feel like many bugs love this plant, so I wanna keep a very close eye. So I'm thinking, what can I put in the back and it would not hate me? 
I think this might cancel. No, because I'm going to propagate that mic pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I don't think it has a choice. Okay. Because on here we have a lot of short plants. I guess I want that to do good. I guess I'll place it over here. It's in the very back. But what we're going to do is just place some more down. If not too down, it's going to burn my, my other plants. <laughs> Yeah, and that is it on that shelf, y'all. My brain's going a thousand miles per hour. I really don't know. I like to switch topics because it helps, right, on a video. But sometimes I do it way too much that I forgot what topic two was. And I'm on topic six. <laughs> so we're just going to get straight into this. I honestly did forgot what I was going to say. Well, here we have some cuttings that I'm propagating. And I say I'm going to clean them, but I never do. You know what? I'm going to do it right now. Because they say that I never, I'm going to do it later on, and I never really do it. Garrita, I might need to clean it. Woo, hello. Well, let me just go ahead and do this. Ew, it's wet. I mean, obviously, but I'm trying to show you. See, David, that was not so hard when I was it, David. Now the plants can actually photosynthesize and like get in all the light. Get in all the light. I can show you what I have in here. I have some Scandopsis silver hero, wet sticks, cuttings, and this plant, which I already checked, it does have some roots developing. I wanna see if I can stabilize it because I'm nasty. If not, it's okay. It's okay. It honestly does look like a Brazil. It was a lemon lime philodendron and it was just did this beautiful coloring. So it, I don't know. I honestly do not know, but it's so pretty. It did rot a little bit, but it is putting out, you guys can kind of see it a little. You guys can't, I'm so sorry. I'm just like a fungus on the phone. I don't want to blow up to the mic. Oh my god, these fungus hats are crazy annoying. Wow. Well, oh, there you go. I already pulled it out. See? That's cool. I know it was not fully focused, but you can see the little white fuzzy root. So, that's what I have in there. The West Texts are kind of being a little bit annoying. I feel like I need to submerge them all the way in. Because I don't know. And here is the Splitly Philodendron ceilings, which I'm not even gonna bother to open it. I ended up just placing a little plastic thingy in a chongo <laughs> to seal it up and to build a little greenhouse effect, which is doing exactly that. So I'll open it within a week and see what's going on and also let it get some fresh air and water it if it's dry. Well, here we have my Manjula, which has a pretty side. But she has an ugly side, <laughs> no. And she's putting out lots of new shoots. That's why I have it like right in the grow light and it's getting that white stuff on top. I think I need to like scrape it off. But uh, she's gonna get nice and nice and bushy pretty soon. Really, really excited for that. And then over here we have these Singonium red cuttings that I've been trying. These are not rooted. You can kind of tell it's pretty obvious. But these are rooted and sphagnum moss was very little of them. I think out of all, the, I had like 20 cuttings. Oh my goodness. I think I'm only gonna have like four or three cuttings rooting into a plant. It's crazy. So, that girl that told me these plants are really difficult to propagate, the red singonium, she was not lying. So, if you see a red singonium and you like it at Lowe's, snatch it, y'all. Because, or anywhere, like in a plant shop, go ahead and snatch it because it's difficult. I put the covers back, but I think I'm gonna take them off again. I'm just so decisive. But these are my variegated string of hearts that we propagated by the butterfly method you can see all the new leaves coming in how oh, satisfying and this one is starting to get really tall but i'm gonna do it without the cover i just i had it on because i feel like it was still too soon but i think it's fine i think what these plants want now it's some really really good light and i gotta give it what it needs i'm gonna show you the other one i have another one and i'm really excited because I have them these nice, full, well, wide planters, and these are gonna make it so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that so much fun? Makes me wanna propagate more, but I'm gonna give the mother a break, <laughs> and I will go back to her soon. I just lost it. Who is that? Who is from this one? Alrighty, and then lastly on this little shelf is the begonias that my boyfriend propagated and I ended up placing them, it was like last year or two years ago, I think it was last year. They became into actual plants and I placed them all together in this little planter. 
because I wanted to see how pretty it's gonna get. It's such a beautiful begonia. Really, really exciting and pretty impressive that you did it by cuttings, by leaf cuttings. So yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe. I think I should vacuum. I'm gonna get the vacuum and we'll wipe. It smells like roses. Because of the Mayor's spray bottle, I love that. She is, dude. Let's go ahead and spray. Somebody asked me what kind of vacuum I had a while back. And the vacuum that I have is the Dyson V15 Torque Drive, I believe. Yeah, it was a thousand dollars. <laughs> well, when I paid it, they be dropping the price of gear. But I got mine from Best Buy. They don't really do sales every now and then. I don't even know. I think I got scammed to be honest. I should have done my research, but. I had the the 13, I believe, and I had it for two years, but she broke. And well, kind of a little bit. The thing is, that dumb vacuum kept falling off, so <laughs> she kept getting concussions. But I ended up giving it to my brother because he fixed it, and I was like, "Oh, you can have it. I mean, you fixed it. You can go ahead and take it." But no, I was like, "No, no, you can take it. You can take it." And he took it, and they, they liked it a lot. So what I ended up getting for myself, what did I got? Well, I got. I ended up getting the iRobot, the Roomba S9, and girl, that thing is dumb. That was like a thousand two hundred dollars. I'm not rich, y'all. I, I was dumb. Okay, I got in a payment. It's already paid off. But I hate that. <laughs> it's good. Okay. Um, when it works, sometimes she be acting dumb, like she be getting stuck, and I'm like, really, girl? Like, it is not that deep, like for real. <sighs> so, I ended up missing my Dyson. But I was looking at a lot of vacuum videos and I was like, maybe I should get like a wire one because maybe those are stronger and I want a really strong suction. So I got the Dyson wired one, I think circle something, circle drive. And it was okay. It was okay. And I just started like alternating between my iRobot and the, the Dyson circle ball animal thingy. I don't even know. <sighs> but... I was on TikTok and I get influenced very easily. And I saw <laughs> they had the, the 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 new one. Well, I think they have another new one, but they had the Dyson B15, whatever. And y'all, when I saw that, I fell in love. I was like, I don't need it. But it had a laser, and <laughs> for some dumb reason, I was like, ah! I need it. But no, I didn't. But I, whatever. I ended up getting it. I was not rich, so I got a payment. I already paid it off, but... And then it also had this, like, I don't think it's gonna show. And then it has, like, mode eco. It can last longer. An hour and 26 minutes, I think so. Medium, and then it has boot. So, it's a cool vacuum. I just noticed that the audio's gonna be really, really crazy. Damn it! I hope you guys heard me through the audio. Sorry if you didn't. <laughs> but it's a really, really cool vacuum. It actually does an amazing job at vacuuming. If I had to pick one, I'll go to that one again. And only that one. I would never get an iRobot. Maybe, and then another thing. I mean, the iRobot's not bad. It's just, it is kind of loud. And I live in an apartment, you guys. So I forgot about that. I mean, I didn't forget, but I didn't really thought it was going to be that loud. I have never gotten a complaint, but that doesn't mean that I am not that loud. I know walking around all the time, talking in my YouTube videos, and vacuuming. I know they can hear it, I'm pretty sure, because when I was little, we used to have neighbors above us, and they used to vacuum. They would talk, and we can hear that, so... <sighs> I, I don't use my, my eye robot too much, because it, I don't want to annoy the neighbors, and I don't want to get complained. My, my boyfriend was like, it's expected, it's not that bad. I'm like, I know, but I have other stuff that I can use that's not that loud, like my Dyson is not that loud. But maybe when we get the home, I use it more often. Maybe I'll like it again, but as of right now, it's literally just sitting right there, and I bought new parts for it, because every year you're supposed to buy parts for it because they, they wear out, right? So I did. I bought some new parts for it, and I don't really use it because it's it's too loud i mean the suction is there and it has different modes it has low medium and high <sighs> and automatic but 
I don't use it because it's too loud. Ah, I hate it, but hopefully once we move, y'all, I can go ahead and try it out. Oh my goodness. But that's on that. That's where I'm at right now with my vacuum. As of right now, I love, love, love my Dyson V15. And I do use a laser. I'd be looking like a ninja <laughs> when I'm when I'm vacuuming the floors at night. It's pretty cool to see it. Alrighty, we're gonna have the bottom part. I like to give you guys different perspectives. There's fungus nuts everywhere. I like to ah, these fungus nuts. I'm gonna be fighting like everything. Oh my! Oh, I actually killed it. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I like to. I don't know. I have. I keep a lot of my eh, a lot of my saucers. It's just plastic. God damn it. Close to really, wait, why, 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 why? What? And you had the audacity to raise it a dollar extra, girl. Obviously, like you, y'all saving a lot of money going to plastic, and y'all are still raising the plant a dollar extra, girl. Oh my god! Like, I mean, we're still gonna buy. We're still gonna buy the plants, right? They know. This is my boyfriend's. I don't know why. Go to my Kia. And let me take something right now. I think it's a display one. Girl, don't even tell me anything. Don't even. I remember when we first went to Ikea. <laughs> I thought Ikea was bougie, y'all. When we first got this apartment, I was like, I want everything to be Ikea. Because I like it. It's like boho, white, like warm tones, like wood. Very aesthetically pleasing stuff, right? And I was like, oh my god, I want everything to be Ikea, right? <laughs> We went and I was so confused. Like I was adding stuff to my cart, the things on display, but I didn't know, I didn't know. I went to check out, she looked at us and I was like, oh. So, yeah. And then I also ended up finding out Ikea is not really that bougie. It's cute, it's aesthetics. It's cheap. The things do wear off a little bit. It's not like, you know, I the way I thought it, excuse me, the way I thought it was. And I remember when I, but some people, I was going to Ikea because I love how everything's like... I kept, I kept making it sound like it was high quality. Because that's what I thought. Like, I used to watch a lot of YouTubers back in the day. And they were like, do Ikea shopping? Or their stuff was, was from Ikea? And I was like, oh my god, that's so bougie. And people would tell me, I think somebody commented was like, that's, uh, Ikea stuff is kind of cheap. And I was like, she's just hating. No, girl, I have some Ikea stuff. <laughs> and I, a lot of it is compressed wood. This is not, this is compressed wood, I think so. So if there's water in it, it will lift. Like my big table that I have from Ikea, it lifted, warped, I think that's what it's called. It's whatever though. But I do love Ikea now. It was just funny, like I didn't know how to shop <laughs> and stuff like that. But I like, there's only one Ikea in San Antonio, which is kind of crazy. And it's really kind of far. It's like where my mom lives, but yeah. One of these days I'll go ahead and film a plant shopping video if you want to see that. I know they have a lot of plant accessories, but I kind of want to have like a $50 budget. Because, like, I need a budget. If not, I'm going to go crazy. As well, I need something to buy. Like, one, the drive. And then they have so many cute stuff that I don't want to, like, miss out. Like, you know? So, I need to save up money so I can go again and get some really, really cute accessories. I know they have that Kia cabinets, but I, it's expensive. Okay. They have different versions, but the YouTuber IKEA cabinets are expensive, and uh <laughs> girl no and like they have you have to customize you have to put like grill lights and fans i'm not doing all that and i, I don't have that many like rare like crazy plants that need that much humidity other than my allocate jacqueline which i feel like that's what she wants but i'm a fighter like i think i'm gonna go ahead and repot her in a new planter because i think she doesn't like the potty mix i was editing the video and i was like maybe i should repot it maybe that would help out but okay now i'm procrastinating and i'm scratching too again <sighs> I'm hairy. I gotta epilate. Let's vacuum. Okay, that's basically all that. Now, there's a little bit of stain. I don't want to spread the entire thing because I have a wires over here. <laughs> I'm not sure you guys can see, but I have the. Uh, electrical stuff right there and the cool thing is i got this from um walmart a long time ago it's fancy electrical outlets i'm not quite sure it's just i don't even know what kind of brand it is but um i got it from walmart and it has cool features like i mean a lot of them do but this one like if it gets overloaded it will show colors like it's at blue but if it's too much it'll show red 
and then it has like an auto shut off feature like if it's too much power it will shut off which is really really cool um which is great because like it's near the plants so that's a really really smart thing to have as well um i see the water thing right and if it gets overloaded so i like this a lot i guess like i said i got it from walmart i probably should dust it one of these days i haven't dusted it but it's not that bad now let's add back the planters there's not really much to add back for you oh my god sorry i gotta stop saying that uh this mess in here let's go to the trash i save these self-watering planters from uh coastal farm because i feel like i might reuse them but i don't really like it like <laughs> You gotta put a six inch planter in here and you gotta you gotta give it its wicked thingy. You gotta do that. Not that really, but I have it because I'm like maybe I will want it. I don't really know. I can maybe propagate some stuff. No, I don't know. Very interesting, very interesting. And the Mela Costa, I guess don't wanna dump it out because I like it. You know, and then it has a little window. But like hello. So I'll figure it out later on. What to do with it? It's a foot right there. So I have my saucers. I usually like to have like a little cash pot with trash. I don't have a trash can. I used to have a trash can in my plant room, but now I use it for the cat. Like that's why I put the bags for the cat litter, but that's basically it. That's how it looks. We is done. The top, ignore the top. Don't even look at the top. But everything else looks really, really good. And my main focus was cleaning the glass. I wanted the glass to look clear. Um, there's some stains that are really in there. I might need to use like vinegar, white dissolved vinegar to clean that out, but it looks so much better. And then we ended up reorganizing other plants. We pulled out the bad ones, the bad eggs that need to be like maintained and looked after. But that is it. That is basically it for today. Oh my God, you guys, we got literally so much done. I have been pushing those shelves for so, so long. And yes, I do got my thing. <laughs> it is kind of cold in the apartment. And I do not want to turn on the heater because I kind of like it kind of cold. So yeah thank you so much for watching and joining me on today's new plenty video thank you so much magic minds for sending me those amazing bottles i still have more left and i'm gonna go ahead and finish them off and then order some for myself don't forget to check out the link in the description box below so you can go and check out magic minds use my code to get a good deal girl because 56 percent off it's very generous and that's a really really good deal so thank you so much magic minds and thank you so much for watching you guys and i'll see y'all in the next one bye you want to say bye baby you want to say bye? Come on. Get over here. Get over here. He wants to say bye. I want my hair lines receding too. <laughs> you want to say bye, baby? I ended up giving him a lot of catnip to relax because I had to film. And I gave him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, y'all. It's like non addictive for them. It helps him relax. Um, he likes it, baby. Ooh, he has a lot of it on his face right now. I put it on his scratching thingy and he was all over it. If you know what catnip, you know, you know that cats love, love, love catnip. So I think he enjoyed it. Alrighty, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. I want to say bye together. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh. He said bye.